Our motoring tip of the week concerns cooling systems. Some of the guys here at motoring aren't happy about the fact that a number of modern cars don't have engine temp gauges, but that's a reflection of A, how good the cooling systems are on modern cars, and B, the fact that those vehicles that don't have temp gauges definitely have an over temp light, a red light that comes on to warn of engine over temp. In some cases that light will flash and in other cases there's vehicles with a driver information center with extensive driver updates on problems like that should you encounter them. And some vehicles even have an, an adaptive strategy electronically to deal with a total loss of coolant. In any case, a vehicle like this Dodge Ram pickup truck, when we lift the hood, the grill goes up, we see a real good look at the cooling system on this vehicle. We can see the radiator right here, the transmission cooler, the power steering cooler, and the air conditioning condenser over here. There's an electric fan behind the AC condenser, so anytime the air conditioning's on, that electric fan runs, draws air through there, so it exchanges heat, removes heat from the interior, and gives you cooling. Mechanical fan, belt driven off the front of the engine on the nose of the water pump with a viscous clutch, moves a tremendous amount of air through that rad, and the aluminum and plastic rads that have been used now for decades are so reliable and so efficient at cooling, cooling system problems have dropped tremendously. We've also got long life coolants in modern cars. Make sure you've got the right coolant for your car, and you need to be proactive. Check the coolant regularly, check its level and its condition, and flush it at the intervals. Many cars, five years or 160, or in some cases 240K intervals between coolant changes, but you do need to do it periodically. Make sure you've got the right coolant, top it up on a regular basis. Make sure you've got full airflow through the rad. That's rarely a problem, but for example, on a four wheel drive pickup like this, if you're plowing snow with it in the wintertime, driving between calls on the highway and the plow is lifted, blocks the airflow to the rad, and you can overheat even though the outside temperature is very low. You wouldn't think that would happen. But in any case, make sure you're servicing your cooling system. Check the coolant level when it's cold. If it overheats and you have to pull off to a service center, wait till it's fully cold before you look at it and get it serviced on an annual basis to avoid any problems. That's your motoring tip of the week.